Okay, the chef test and the 2K test. Again, I'm not going to cover the 2K too much. I'm just going to talk mostly about the chef test. When the no hypothesis is rejected using the F test, the researcher may want to know where the difference among the means is. The chef test and the 2K test are procedures to determine where the significant difference in the means lie after the NOVA procedure has been performed. In order to conduct the chef test, one must compare the means to two at a time using all possible combinations. For example, if there are three means, the following comparisons must be done. x1 compared to x2, x1 compared to x3, x2 compared to x3. Form on the further chef test. <coughs> Fs is equal to xi minus xj squared divided by the sum of squares within, 1 over ni plus 1 over nj, where x bar i and x bar j are the means of the samples being compared, and ni and nj are the respective sample sizes, and within group variance is s squared w. To find the critical value f prime for the chef test, Multiply the critical value from the F test by K minus 1. So when we did the F test to begin with, sorry, when we did the F test to begin with, now we take K minus 1 time that. There is a significant distance between the two means being compared when F of S is greater than F prime of S. Okay, so let's try one. Using the chef test, test compare the means of the example 12 1 we, to see whether a specific difference at 0.05. Now this is one we did before. When we did the example before, we had our means and stuff. So we first going to come here and say, okay, x bar 1, x bar 2 squared divided by within. And this is that first sample we did. So we got 11.8 minus 3.8 squared divided by 8.73. 1 over 5, 1 over 5 is 18.33. Now when we do the comparison of 2, set up the same thing, 2 to 3, subtract the means within, sample size, we get 4.14. And then the third example, x bar 1 minus x bar 3 squared divided by this, put the numbers in, means within, sample size, 1 over sample size, 5.05. So, find the, the critical value for the NOVA from example 12, 1 was F was 3.89 followed by using table H at alpha 0.05, 2 and 12. So we knew F was 3.89. And in this case we multiply that by K minus 1, so it will be 3 minus 1 which is 2, so our critical value is 7.78. Now since the only F test for part A is greater than the critical value of the only significant differences between x1 and x2 and is medication and exercise. So in other words, the only big difference between the means is that medication and exercise, because one was 18, I believe it was. We we'll go back here. Yep, 18.33. So that one's bigger than that critical value. So therefore that's the only significant difference. Okay, now on occasion, when the F test value is greater than the critical value, the chef test may not show any significant difference in the pairs of means. This result occurs because the difference may actually lie in the average of two or more means when compared to the other means. The chef test can be used to make these types of comparisons, but the technique is beyond the scope of the book. So we might not find, even though the F test says there is a significant difference, we might not find that difference, so we don't even worry about it if it doesn't show up on the chef test. Now the 2K test. The 2K test can also be used after the analysis of vari variances have been completed to make a pairwise comparison between means when the groups have the same sample size. So if the example is if the sample sizes are exactly equal, 555, five, five, we couldn't use the 2K test. The chef can be used anytime but the 2K only can be used the same sample size. The symbol for the test value for 2K test is Q. So I want to focus mostly on the chef test for doing our testing, not the 2K test. And that finishes off chapter 12.